Okay, so we're gonna do some infield marketing and uh, the strategy behind it, some of the philosophy behind it and uh, how to maximize our, uh, our infield presence and you know maximize our leads and ultimately our money, right? So uh, don't worry about any of that. We're gonna be right here. We're going to this house right here. Boom, boom. I say it's Bob. Okay, we're going to Bob's house. We arrive on time. We go and knock on the door. And we're in communication beforehand. And we do an entire inspection for Bob. And there's a presentation. There's a little bit about the company. There's a, a check, check system. Very systematical approach to how we do our presentations. Great. So there's going to be one of two outcomes either they get scheduled and you close the job for him and get him on the production calendar or it's not scheduled doesn't matter either way we're going to do a 40 point knock so you got a street on this side, and then say his uh, street is going this way, and then it comes up this way, and then it goes down this way, All right? All right, and then there's a stop sign, and then there's, a, you know, lanes going that way. So say that there's a house, 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 house. House, 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 house. All right, either way, I'm not gonna count them out. Say this street has 25 houses. Obviously that's not 40. So you would have to go over here or down here. Say there's only two here and then there's more here. So either way, you do a 40 point knock. Our our door hangers actually need to be filled out with the person's name and the person's address. And we say, hey, we're, we're doing work for Bob down the street. We're doing gutter work for Bob down the street. And our trucks are taking up a lot of street space and we don't want to inconvenience anyone. We just want to let you know, we want to invite you down to Bob's house to see the work that we're doing. And while our trucks are already here, we're offering free inspections for, for neighbors and friends in the area. Do you have any leaky areas or any things that you would want us to check out? And then you either inspect it right there on the spot, which would be ideal, or get Bob's, get Bob's neighbor scheduled, right? So here's, here's the sequence of events. 40, 10, 3, 1. So if you get really good at this presentation, you should have it scheduled, right? There's a sequence of approaches that will get you to, to some training within this presentation. However, when you go into the 40 point knock, you either schedule another presentation or ideally you would have some time set aside to do the inspection right there while the customer is available or sometimes they're not available right there, they're on their way out, they're in the middle of work. So you need to come back after four, after five on a Saturday, whatever it is. So get them scheduled. So, or, or just do the inspection right there. So if you know the presentation, you can do the presentation. If you don't, obviously get it scheduled, piggyback the guy that's doing the, and then you can start adding to your kit and obviously request some, uh, some time with either myself, John, Jeff, or, um, whoever else is part of the team that can assist you in the, in the little tidbits that are, you know, you need some training with. So. 40 knocks should get you 10 conversations. Somebody should answer the door, one out of four. Um, and that's, you know, depending on what time of day, depending on what day of the week it is, a lot of other things factor into that. Um, that should get you three people that are actually willing to entertain the conversation. It might not be like fully like, yeah, let's do an inspection, but they're at least appreciative and let you finish talking. 
and are very reciprocal to your conversation. If you're good at that, getting the foot in the door, no obligation inspection, a complimentary inspection, um, means that they obviously have some time right then. So that kind of psychologically should, should trigger you into taking them down a different road versus them saying, okay, thanks, I gotta go. And then maybe uh, shifting in real time based off of their interaction. And then based off of the three interactions, you should get one um, inspection that should be into a close. So you get really good at the inspections, you should be able to schedule things. You get really good at the knocks and walking them down the road, you should get two closes for every single one stop. So that's 41 leads out of every one lead that we get through Facebook, through Google, through um, whatever other form of, of lead generation that we're using.